At eight weeks, the brain is highly complex and constitutes almost half of the embryo's total body weight. Growth continues at an extraordinary rate. By eight weeks, 75% of embryos exhibit right-hand dominance. The remainder is equally divided between left-handed dominance and no preference. This is the earliest evidence of right or left-handed behaviour. Paediatric textbooks describe the ability to roll over as appearing 10 to 20 weeks after birth. However, this impressive coordination is displayed much earlier in the low gravity environment of the fluid-filled amniotic sac. Only the lack of strength required to overcome the higher gravitational force outside the uterus prevents newborns from rolling over. The embryo is becoming more physically active during this time. Motions may be slow or rapid, single or repetitive, spontaneous or reflexive. Head rotation, neck extension and hand-to-face contact occur more often. Touching the embryo elicits squinting, jaw movement, grasping motions, and toe pointing. Between seven and eight weeks, the upper and lower eyelids rapidly grow over the eyes and partially fuse together. Although there is no air in the uterus, the embryo displays intermittent breathing motions by eight weeks. By this time, kidneys produce urine, which is released into the amniotic fluid. In male embryos, the developing testes begin to produce and release testosterone. The bones, joints, muscles, nerves and blood vessels of the limbs closely resemble those in adults. By eight weeks, the epidermis, or outer skin, becomes a multi-layered membrane, losing much of its transparency. Eyebrows grow as hair appears around the mouth. Eight weeks marks the end of the embryonic period. During this time, the human embryo has grown from a single cell into the nearly one billion cells, which form over 4,000 distinct anatomic structures. The embryo now possesses more than 90% of the structures found in adults. The fetal period continues until birth. By nine weeks, thumb sucking begins and the fetus can swallow amniotic fluid. The fetus can also grasp an object, move the head forward and back, Open and close the jaw, move the tongue, sigh and stretch. Nerve receptors in the face, the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet can sense light touch. In response to a light touch on the sole of the foot, the fetus will bend the hip and knee and may curl the toes. The eyelids are now completely closed. In the larynx, the appearance of vocal ligaments signals the onset of vocal cord development. In female fetuses, the uterus is identifiable and immature reproductive cells called oogonia are replicating within the ovary.
external genitalia begin to distinguish themselves as either male or female. A burst of growth between 9 and 10 weeks increases body weight by over 75%. By 10 weeks, stimulation of the upper eyelid causes a downward rolling of the eye. The fetus yawns and often opens and closes the mouth. Most fetuses suck the right thumb. Sections of intestine within the umbilical cord are returning to the abdominal cavity. Ossification is underway in most bones. fingernails and toenails begin to develop. Unique fingerprints appear 10 weeks after fertilization. These patterns can be used for identification throughout life. By 11 weeks, the nose and lips are completely formed. As with every other body part, their appearance will change at each stage of the human life cycle.